Let me first read this problem. A single phase 50 Hz three winding transformer is rated at 2200 volts on high voltage side with 250 turns. Two secondary windings are each 200 kVA with 550 volts and 220 volts. When the rated current flows in the two secondaries at 0.6 lagging and unity power factor respectively, find primary current. According to this question, we can draw the diagram in this way. This transformer is a single phase transformer and in this transformer there are three windings. This is the primary winding, secondary winding and tertiary winding. The high voltage side is rated at 2200 volt. The two secondary windings are each 200 kVA with 550 volts and 220 volts. It means, what is the meaning of two secondary windings? The meaning of two secondary windings is the additional secondary winding will be known as tertiary winding. The meaning of two secondary windings is the additional secondary windings the additional secondary winding will be known as tertiary winding. So easily you can see by the diagram that there are two secondary windings first and second. The second, second secondary winding is known as tertiary winding. The two secondary windings are each 200 kVA with 550 volt. So I have written it 200 kVA 550 volt and 200 kVA 220 volt. 200 kVA 220 volt. The rated current flows in the two secondaries at 0.6 lagging and unity power factor. So the rated current I2 flows at a lagging power factor of 0.6 and this current I3 flows at unity power factor. So finally we have to calculate the primary current that is we have to calculate the I1. To solve this problem we will use the technique of complex power balance. The meaning of the complex power balance is the total input complex power equals to total complex power output. Input complex power equals to output complex power. This is the technique of complex power balance. If you are using this technique easily you can solve this problem. So the complex power output will be at the secondary winding and the complex power output will be also at tertiary winding. So let me write S1 equals to S2 plus S3. The meaning of S1 is the complex power input at the primary winding. The meaning of S2 is the complex power output at the secondary winding. The meaning of S3 is the complex power output at the tertiary winding. So total complex power output in this single phase three winding transformer is S2 plus S3. If we are able to write the value of S2 and S3, we can easily find out the primary current. So let me write the value of S2 and S3. The complex power output at the secondary winding can be written as the magnitude of the complex power output at the secondary angle because the current is lagging by a power factor. The current is 0.6 power factor lagging so we can write cos inverse 0.6 because the current is lagging 
so we should write plus here this is in kva the complex power output at the tertiary is s3 the magnitude of the complex power output is 200 kva angle because the current is at unity power factor so we will write 0 degree it will be kva so we have written the values of s2 and s3 this is the total complex power output i repeat s2 plus s3 is the total complex power output and this total complex power output will be equal to complex power input s1 is the complex power input so let me write this equation so i have written the value of s2 and s3 easily by using the calculator you can add these two values and you will get the value of the complex power input that is 357.77 angle 26.57 degree kva if you want to write the complex power input then the complex power input can be written as v1 i1 conjugate it is written in this question that the high voltage side is rated at 2200 volts so i am taking the input voltage as 2200 volts angle 0 i am taking this input voltage as a reference and this is i1 conjugate so you can write the value of S1 so this is 2200 angle 0 I1 conjugate you can solve this equation and you can easily get the value of I1 conjugate if you remove this complex conjugate sign there will be minus sign here so you got the value of the primary current so the primary current will be 162.62 angle minus 26.57 degree in ampere so we have got the answer the primary current will be this you can find out the input power factor also the input power factor will be cos 26.57 degree and it will be 0.8944 I have written lagging here because the current in the expression of the current there is negative sign let me tell you the concept of lagging the concept of lagging is if you write the value of V1 this V1 is 2200 angle 0 and if you write I1 it, it, it is given 162.62 minus 26.57 degree so if you draw the phasor diagram this is V1 and I1 can be drawn in this way this is I1 and this angle is 26.57 so easily you can see that this current is lagging with respect to this voltage the input current is lagging with respect to the input voltage so the power factor will be lagging and you know the definition of the power factor is cosine of the angle between the voltage and current is called power factor so what is the angle between the voltage and current the angle is 26.57 so the same thing so the same thing i have written here cos 26.57 and this will be the final answer so in this way we have solved this problem by using the technique of complex power balance